What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's FFDev here and today in this video we're going to be continuing on our series and we're going to be adding in a basic setup to starter state machine and we're going to be adding in an asset manager because I'm going to be adding some assets. Um, I'm going to have them linked in the description and um, whenever you download those, we'll download those we'll be able to set them up. So first things first, right here under event we're just going to go ahead and pull up my notes see. I want to do this. All right, so you're just going to create an enum class, and we're just going to call it game state. And this is just how I like formatting mine. So by default, we want it to go to the main menu. I'm going to have one called host game, another state called connect to game, and another one called playing. And one called game over. And then one called closed. <laughs> this is what we're going to be using to simply, you know, manage the states of our game because the state machine makes things a whole lot easier working in code. If you haven't used one before, don't worry. It's not too difficult. We'll, uh, I'll show you how it's done. You'll understand it once I get it going. It's basically kind of like an if, if statement, sort of. But it's a condition which can be used. Sorry about the phone ringing. People love doing that when I'm recording. Call from, call so what we'll do now is right click on our source folder, add class, from, and we're just going to name this asset manager. And this right here isn't going to be necessarily be the most efficient. Way. I'm, let me make sure I put this in my source folder because for some reason whenever I add a CPP and header file when I add it as a class it always never goes into the right folder. Alright in our header folder here or header file we're just going to include our SFML graphics aha I don't know what I'm doing there it's like why ain't it working I didn't put include all right, let's include sfml slash graphics.hppp. Um, and I'm just going to make this public. Uh, we could use a struct instead, but I'm just going to make it public. I just like working with classes. You know, it's just my personal preference. So we're going to make a sprite called a main menu sprite. And this is just because of the way I formatted my asset, asset so the menu can be moved around a little bit. SF sprite, pong online sprite. SF Sprite. Um, let's see, we need one for join game. Sprite. SF. Whoa, there. SF Sprite. Host game Sprite. All right. And also, uh, because of this, we're going to need a. Um, rectangle shape for our mouse <laughs> I'm just gonna call it mouse shape and create a vector 2f for it can make it 5 by 5 and also I believe since we're initializing it here in the header we need curly braces instead of the parentheses around the outside of it there we go Now we'll create a texture. Need a SF texture called Pong Text. SF texture for a host texture. This is just for a main menu. And then SF texture for our join texture. SF texture menu text all right so now we will also need a constructor right above that all right right click on the asset manager click actions and refactor and create definition for it and now um we're just going to load a few things 
All right, so what I did was I paused the video for a minute um, because it was nothing you guys haven't seen. But anyways, basically what I did was I went went into the source folder here. I right clicked it, open folder in File Explorer. I'll show you. I right clicked, created a new folder and named it Assets. And then inside here we got all of our assets that we're going to be using. But this is going to be I'm going to have this zipped in a folder for you. Uh, so all you got to do is download it from the GitHub link in the description and then you can create the folder name assets and just paste all these in here and then you can continue on the tutorial from there. And you may have to refresh after you do it to make sure, you know, if you want to see them. But now that they're there, what we're going to do in our uh, constructor is we're just going to, uh, let me add a few notes, you know, for you. What we're doing here, load the textures and set them to sprites. If you ain't never done this, so menu text dot load from file. It's kind of boring, you know. SRC assets background dot PNG. Pong text dot load from file. SRC slash assets slash online.png because that's the name of the file. Join text dot load from file src slash assets. Let's see, join game dot png. And it's important that you get these right, so make sure that your typing is right. Host text dot load from file src slash assets slash host game dot png alright so what we'll do next is we're loading the textures and now we're gonna set them to sprites I just put a little space in between them so you can see what's going so main menu dot sprite set texture to main uh, let's see menu text is what it's gonna be set to all right, and then pong online sprite dot set texture to pong text. Let's see, uh, join game sprite dot set texture to join text and host game sprite dot set texture to host text. All right. So now that we got this completed here, what we're going to do is we're going to um, set the main menu positions. And if you're not in 1920 by 1080p, you may need to tweak it a little bit, make it a little bit different, you know. So I'm going to put pawn online sprite dot set position to 300 by 200. Host game sprite dot set position. To 600, 500, and the join game sprite that set position to 800 by 600. And I'm not doing anything with the background because by default it's in the correct spot because I made it 1920 by 1080 and it should be in the correct spot already when we start it up. All right, so now that we have this created, you see how long this video is going on for. It's not too too bad. Um, what we'll do now is go to our main menu. We'll include, let's see, our asset manager. Dot H. And then we'll, right here under event, we'll just go ahead and create an asset manager. So asset manager AM. And now just to make sure that everything's working, we're not going to keep this in here. We'll, we'll ju we just want to make sure that everything's here. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to comment out the pongs for a minute, the paddles, and I'm just going to type in window dot draw AM dot background. Where's it at? Ah, main menu sprite. 
That's what I need to draw. Window dot draw. Let's see. Am dot join game sprite. Window dot draw. Am dot host game sprite. Is that all of it? Window dot draw. Let me see. Menu. Let's see. Pong online sprite. Uh. I think believe that's all of it right now. So now we're just gonna have it draw in. And uh, it's important that you draw the main menu sprite first because it's gonna be, that way this stuff drawn after it will draw on top of it. Because if you don't draw it in that order, then the main menu will cover up the other details. Now if we hit build or compile, we can see our thing and we can see our host game needs to be changed a little bit. That's all right. It's learning, you know, let's see. Now what I'll do is go back to my asset manager, go to the constructor, asset manager, that CPP. What did I do wrong? Ah, I see, I see, this is on the x-axis, so I made a slight, slight error here. So this should be, join game should also be on 600. I don't know why, I read that as 800. Alright, so 600 by 600 on join game sprite, and now our main menu is straight. And so now we have our main menu set up. Um, one more thing that I want to do before I end this video is... Let's see, well, actually that might take a little bit, so, and that involves the state machine, so in the next video, now that we got our, um, now that we got our, uh, main menu drawing and everything, we will, uh, take care of all this, but what we're gonna do for now is go ahead and just delete these draws that we have, you know, for the main menu and whatnot, and we can go ahead and draw the paddles just as we was before. So we were before to be more proper English um, and in the next video we'll be setting up the state machine and getting our main menu fully working and then I'll show you how we can get our um, game ready to actually implement the multiplayer where you can join so I don't think there's gonna be too too many of it too 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 many Wow I don't think there'll be too many more videos left in the series because we'll have our multiplayer game up and running before soon I'll see you guys in the next episode See you then, and if you haven't, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment below on what you want to see, and uh, thank you guys.